Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 274. It is October 1st, the start of spooky season. And Luke Von Thompson, the guy who composed the original Road Trivia theme song, has sent us this spooky tune to be used for the month of October to get you in the mood. Today's quiz was submitted by Dave and DJ. 20 questions up front, a question 21 tiebreaker at the end of the episode. Here is question number one. His movie roles include jewelry salesman Rufus in Love Actually, Small Fawcett in the Bond film Never Say Never Again, and he voiced the character of Zazu in The Lion King. Who is this English actor and comedian that portrays the title character in the British sitcom and movie franchise, Mr. Bean? His name is Rowan Atkinson. Question number two. This sport consists of teams of four dogs in relay that run a course of hurdles to a box with a ball that the dog retrieves and brings back to the starting line. What is the name of this high energy competition? The answer is Flyball. Question number three. The Hoover Dam was constructed between 1931 and 1935 during the Great Depression. The dam sits on the border of Arizona and Nevada. This gravity arch dam impounds the Colorado River and creates what reservoir located 25 miles east of Las Vegas? The answer is Lake Mead. Question number four. This additive was first used in glass in the early 1800s, most popularly from the 1880s until the 1920s. Amounts in decorative glass range from 1% to 25%. Sometimes referred to as Vaseline glass, these fluorescent pieces are more commonly called by the name of what added element? The element we're looking for is uranium. Question number five, known for its extremely high tides of up to 52 feet, this funnel-shaped inlet lies between Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. Fossils are abundant in its shoreline cliffs. What is this bay that is a UNESCO World Heritage Site? The answer is the Bay of Fundy. Question number six. The evergreen tree that lends its name to this spice is native to the islands of Indonesia. The seed produces two spices, mace from the covering of the seed, and what spice from the seed itself, used prominently to flavor baked goods and often sprinkled on eggnog. The tree and the spice are called nutmeg. Question number seven. In the New Testament Gospels, Jesus accurately predicted that this disciple would deny knowing him three times before the rooster crowed. Who was this apostle who also penned two of the Bible's letters to the Christian churches? The answer is St. Peter. Peter is the answer. Question number eight. This culinary method consists of placing food in a sealed bag or jar and then cooking in a water bath at a controlled low temperature for a longer time than more traditional methods. What is this French term that translates to under vacuum?
The answer is sous vide. Question number nine. There are numerous artificial intelligence chatbots available, including Microsoft Bing and Google's Socratic. One of the most popular is OpenAI's conversational chat GPT. The G and P in GPT stand for generative and pre-trained respectively. What does the T of the acronym stand for? It's not technology. The answer is Transformer. Question number 10. This rock band won their first Grammy for the music video Learn to Fly. Subsequently, they won Best Rock Album five times and three Best Hard Rock Performance Awards for All My Life, The Pretender, and White Limo. What is this band formed in 1994 by former Nirvana drummer Dave Grohl? Learn to Fly was a popular song from the Foo Fighters. Question number 11. The townspeople of Swallow Falls can only afford to eat sardines. A failed inventor builds a machine that converts water into food that falls from the sky like rain. But it turns out to be too much of a good thing. What is this 2009 animated comedy? I've never seen this movie, but now I kind of want to. The answer is cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Question number 12. Madam C.J. Walker was an African-American businesswoman, philanthropist, and activist in the early 20th century. She is also the first documented woman millionaire from the company that bore her name. What did the Madam C.J. Walker Manufacturing Company produce? The answer is hair care and cosmetics, hair care products and cosmetics. Question number 13. In one of the most substantial reorganizations of United States federal agencies in history, merging in whole or in part at least 22 government agencies, what cabinet department was formed in response to the attacks of September 11, 2001? That department was called the Department of Homeland Security. Question number 14, the harmonica, also referred to as the glass harmonica, uses spinning glass bowls mounted horizontally from large to small on a spindle and played by a friction of wet fingers on the bowls. Who was the U.S. founding father, scientist, and inventor who built the first musical glass harmonica in 1761? The answer is Benjamin Franklin. Question number 15. This is the oldest airline still operating under its original name, and its first flight from London to Amsterdam was in 1920. They soon extended intercontinentally, flying to the Dutch East Indies and to Curacao and Aruba. In 2023, what airline still has over 100 planes servicing over 140 destinations? I cannot pronounce it, so we're just gonna call it KLM. KLM Airlines. Question number 16. Most chefs agree that there are at least five mother sauces in French cooking. The lightest in color and the one most cooks learn first consists of a simple roux of flour and butter whisked with milk or cream and simmered until thickened. What is this simple white sauce? The answer we're looking for is bechamel. Question number 17. German surgeon, microbiologist, and botanist Heinrich Anton de Berry is considered a founder of plant pathology and the founder of modern mycology. 
Mycology focuses on the genetic and biochemical properties of what group of spore producing organisms? The answer is fungi. Question number 18. This highly porous rock in its original form is a type of limestone composed of compressed calcite shells of plankton. Common types today are made of varied compounds. The white cliffs of Dover were formed of this substance. What is this fine textured marking material? The answer is chalk. Question number 19, Guy Montag becomes fed up with his job of censoring and destroying books and commits himself to preserving and championing literature instead. What novel by Ray Bradbury begins with the line, it was a pleasure to burn? The answer is Fahrenheit 451. And question number 20. The mechanism was not initially designed by him, but Johann Melzil added a sliding gradated scale and patented the technology in 1815. Ludwig von Beethoven championed the device and added MM designations to the beginning of many of his compositions. MM stands for Melzil's what? Melzil's metronome is what we're looking for. Metronome is the answer. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Thank you, Dave and DJ, for sending in an excellent quiz. Lots of bands and movies that I really like. Uh, I love any question that has to do with Las Vegas, even if it's just the lake outside of Las Vegas. Really good quiz today. I think everybody else enjoyed it. If you did, you can leave a comment below for Dave and DJ. Tell them what you liked about their quiz. If you are just now finding this channel, now's a good time to, to subscribe. We do new trivia quizzes every single day. Right now we're doing viewer submitted trivia quizzes, so you're going to get a few more weeks of good viewer submissions. Here's question 21 for today, the tiebreaker. <laughs> The first official United States flag adopted in 1777 had 13 stripes and 13 stars. In 1795, two stars and two stripes were added for the states of Vermont and Kentucky. Beginning in 1818, the flag had returned to 13 stripes and added a fresh star for each new state. How many official flags have there been? From 1777 to now, how many official U.S. flags have there been? The answer is 27. Whichever player got closest to 27 is going to win the point. If somebody guessed it right on, obviously they win. But if it was a tiebreaker, whoever got closest wins the point and wins the whole game. Congratulations. Thank you, Dave and DJ. See everybody tomorrow for day number 275.